injuries are part of Kyler's story. Baker's another guy who's been banged up. Smaller guys do get banged up because the size. I, I saw a highlight of Aiden Hutchinson today. <laughs> Aiden Hutchinson's like six foot seven, two hundred seventy. Some of the size of these Kayvon Thibodeau is huge. These are just rookies. Those guys. Wouldn't you imagine Kayvon and Aiden are going to be bigger in five years? Like Bosa has gotten bigger. Like these guys, the the frames of these human beings. I saw a clip of Balky's first round pick. I think it was either this week or last week. He got a strip fumble. See that fucking guy move? The guy's six foot six, like two hundred ninety pounds. Like when that guy hits, when Brock stands next to Kyle Shanahan, Kyle's towering over him. <laughs> so it, to me, that the guy's chasing you, even if you are a fantastic athlete. Look at Russell. I mean, he started to get hit a little as his career's gone because he's not yeah. quite as fast and and he's much thicker that it's just when you're just a smaller guy and the, the size of these human beings are falling on you, it just I, I'm sorry, you're just more inclined to get hurt. Well, Brock's got no bleak injury, comma rib. Uh, I just got the, you know, I got the <laughs> alert from Bleacher. Uh Purdy couldn't miss Thursday night football. If you watch Kyle Shanahan talk, as we did, it feels more like gamesmanship than Kyle actually believing that Purdy might miss the game on Thursday. Purdy said no excru no excruciating pain, a little sore, more sore Monday than he was Tuesday. He hasn't thrown a football yet. But as you said, just share what when Kyle said, ah, we'll, we'll see Thursday if he can go, why you're not buying that. Yeah. No, explain why you're not buying that. When oh, Kyle said, yeah. Well, he's been playing these games. I feel like the last couple of weeks. It feels but like he Kyle's, would have to know before Thursday. Was your well, he needed. Well, he need a backup quarterback, right? Now they, I guess Jacob Eason's still around. They could just elevate him. That would be pretty nuts if Purdy missed and they went into a game with Josh Johnson starting and Jacob Eason as the backup quarterback. Josh Johnson, cigar and uh, hat and T-shirt wins a championship. Well, how many division winners in the history of sport have ever had started four quarterbacks, let alone three? Yeah. Um, how many teams that win divisions? I bet if we did a study for two decades, three guys get to take snaps, just snaps, let alone start. It games. means you probably won with your backup for an extended period. If a third guy ever took a snap, right? If a third guy ever came in in a, I don't know, a victory formation, something, it means you won games with your backup. I would imagine in the internet age, starting in 2000, there haven't been many division winners, if any that have had three different guys start at quarterback in a season. Well, I mean, look, John, they, their first two quarterbacks have gotten hurt. Their first two quarterbacks got hurt trying to make plays out of the pocket, which is something Brock tries to do. Now he did not get crushed the other day outside of the pocket. The play that he injured his oblique on was inside the pocket, making a throw, standing in and actually delivering a throw. The first play of the game was terrifying because I, honestly, my thought was if he gets concussed, I thought they were toast with him. Without him, I, I guess we shouldn't write off whatever happens next. I, the fact that they're doing this is pretty impressive, but you just can't keep replacing quarterbacks. And then I'll add this to the picture. The last time that I was – Cody Barton is the guy that hurt Trey Lance. Now, this is not Pete Carroll's Richard Sherman, Cam Chancellor defenses, right? This is not the defense that makes Vernon Davis probably shaking his boots just thinking about it. But Pete Carroll teams do play a certain style, and it's physical. And they hit and whatever. This defense isn't great. And they don't stop the run, but Jordan book Brooks and Cody Barton and Chenna Nuosu and Puna Ford, like they have legitimate big bodies on this defense. And the play that uh, Trey got hurt on while a little freakish, cause he got his foot caught out under like, that was just a, 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 a heat seeking missile linebacker because that's what you get in the NFL. And that's what Cody Barton was on that play. He crushed them. So, then you add to it, well, we know your quarterback's a little banged up. Like, you know, you don't need, uh, what's his name? The old de defensive coordinator from the Saints here. Kill the body, the head, kill the head, the body will die. Yeah, what was his name? We saw him on the sideline once wearing like Gucci glasses. Uh, with his, I, Greg, I can, Greg Williams. I can, Greg Williams, I can picture him. The dyed to, blonde hair. To understand how this goes. Do look like Scott Peterson. More of a tan. And it is like milf wife, but she has got a lot of work. So milf I, might know, be strong. That you're just playing a physical program, and this team hurt your quarterback the last time you played them. They hurt the quarterback the last time they played.
and they're fighting for their lives. I, I read some stories. I read an athletic article, and I always struggle with this, like percentage chance to make the playoffs. Like a game can change really fast. Like the Niners shouldn't should win this game, but they could easily lose it. Like it's all based on you know win percentage stuff, and you never know. But a lot of people think that like Seattle's in major trouble. Basically, like th- this game is very. They, they, they easily could have lost two weeks ago, right? When Gino led them on that game-winning drive to the pre Baker Mayfield uh, L.A. Rams. Like they haven't played good football now for a while. I mean, the Rams, or not the Rams, but the the Panthers. I thought for the most part, kind of shoved them around in that game. Like the Pete's, road. they've kind of been shoved around. So this is a little bit of a gut check game. The problem is, gut check games on on Thursday are just on the road. Yeah, but I mean for Seattle. Oh. You know, it's like, I, I would guess this is kind of going to be one of their last big shots of just trying to keep the thing afloat. The Lions are coming, but, you know, all of a sudden the Giants lose and the Lions lose. Seattle's right there still, so it's it's not over. And they still play the Rams again. It's, it's not necessarily win or get in. I also see a lot of people, when they talk about playoff projections, or just like Seattle, if anything, they're going to be a, like basically just calling the Niners the winner of the division. For me, I mean, I, obviously you can win the division on Thursday night, but there's still a long. You lose this game, and that Washington game is awfully interesting. Yeah, you know, it's just you still you're still you know, like you said, Brock Purdy still has to. You know, it's one thing to do it two games, another thing to do it for five. Uh, before we get into the one, one last point on this, before we get to the to what you were just talking about, because we got to follow up there. Somebody, multiple people have said Shanahan said that Purdy got hurt on the dive. I thought he said he got hurt kind of turning away on the McCaffrey throw. Um, but if he got hurt diving, well, then, again, don't never leave the pocket. 